Are you familiar about weathering and erosion? In this video, we tackle about ways of how to prevent weathering and erosion. When it comes to erosion, it involves the movement of the weathered rock from the site of weathering by the agents of erosion such as wind, moving water, and gravity. When it comes to weathering, it is the mechanical and chemical hammer that break down rocks. Ways to prevent soil erosion First, planting vegetation as ground cover. Farmers plant trees and grass to cover and bind the soil. Plants prevent the wind and water erosion by covering the soil and binding the soil with the roots. Second, applying mulches. Mulching soil greatly help in soil erosion control. Mulching is done by putting dead leaves and shredded wood on the soil. Mulching acts as a protective covering for the tree and plants against extreme weathers. Mulching allows water to reach the soil slowly and thus reduce the impact of rainfall of or heavy watering. Mulches help to prevent the soil from turning acidic and suppresses weeds from growing. Over time, mulches made from organic materials break down and increase soil structure and fertility. Third, matting the soil. Matting is the process of covering the soil with biodegradable materials that include mulch, straw, coconut fiber, and wood chips. These are held together with biodegradable netting made from cocoa coir. It is like the covering of the soil with a biodegradable carpet. Biodegradable spikes are used to hold the matting material in place. Biodegradable means it can decompose or decay to turn into soil fertilizer. Plastic is non-biodegradable, that is why it is not good for the environment. Fourth, contour farming and terracing. The practice of thinning slope land along lines of consistent elevation in order to conserve rainwater and to reduce soil losses from surface erosion. Contour farming acts as reservoir to catch and retain rainwater, thus permitting increased infiltration and more uniform in distribution of the water. Fifth, creation of windbreakers by planting evergreen trees around gardens or farmland to prevent the wind blowing away the soil. Windbreakers help in protecting crops from damage caused by strong and severe wind and improve plant health, quality, and yield. Crops protected from wind are able to retain significantly more moisture. Ways on how to prevent weathering Nearly all building materials are affected by weathering. In order to prevent your building materials from breaking down, you must understand how the material is most likely going to be broken down, physically or chemically, and then use techniques that stop it from happening. Some design solutions to combat weathering First, carefully select and use durable materials that will withstand weathering. Second, coat materials in protective layers. Third one, shape your design to direct wind and water away from your structure. Let's all follow these preventions and do our jobs for us and others will be safe. Let's all be prepared to avoid excessive erosions and weathering. Always remember, prevention is better than cure.